the job we are given the honor of having is of representative. And when we cede 90 percent of our power to a single individual, in both houses I'm talking about right now, uh, we are not really representatives when we can't bring a bill overwhelmingly supported by both sides of the aisle or even one side of the aisle that has 76 votes uh, to get a bill to the floor for discussion, debate, and a vote. One person holds the rein. One person has the power. I don't care if he's Republican or Democrat. There is no fairness in that. And I don't want to see it continue to happen. We are at a pivotal point in Albany. Change is in the air. And if there's going to be constructive change, it has to be bipartisan, it has to be fair, and it has to be representative. And I fully believe that this piece of legislation is key to that. What went on here with the Spirit of 76 bill and our other reforms last week uh, was really atrocious to watch on the floor. Is there anybody that, you know, we're sent here by the folks that elect us to vote our conscience and to do the right thing. And when you hear the majority, in this case, you know, behind us in the People's House saying, the majority means 76 Democrats. That is, the Founding Fathers would roll over in their graves. And that is not what our government is designed to be. It's the People's House back there. It is the majority of representatives in there that are supposed to pass legislation. You can have a conversation with any one of our colleagues, regardless of party, on key issues that matter to families and homes and communities. But yet, when they walk into that chamber, they become locked, particularly in the majority, they become locked into the position that the leadership dictates for them. So as we talked about getting a bill to the floor, once the bill's at the floor, and this pr provides insights on the other side of the equation, once the bill's on the floor, the leadership has determined that the bill will pass. So many of my colleagues who may not really be interested in supporting a bill are, are coerced into supporting a bill. So as we're trying to get a bill to the floor, there are others who are chained to their seats having to vote for a bill. And if they don't, ex excessive pressure is applied to them to vote for. The New York State Assembly is the equivalent of the House of Representatives in Washington. In Washington, you need 218 members to vote yes on a bill to pass a bill. If you have 280, 218 signatories to a bill in Washington, you can do something that's known as a discharge petition. That means you can force that bill to the floor. As Jimmy says, force it to the floor, not guarantee that it's going to pass and you get a debate, a discussion, and an up or down vote. This is the time for reform, and this bill represents many of the pieces of legislation that our conference is bringing to bring the reform that the people have requested. If not now, then when?